is everybody? This your boy Shaw coming at you with. I'm not gonna say this is a rain match that you can see. This is a head-to-head -head match against somebody that I don't even think he's a subscriber, but I know he stopped by on my videos and he left some uh you know comments on my page about you know my record or whatever. Uh you know at the beginning when I play these rank matches, you know uh sometimes I show my record before the game even starts. And you already know anytime you play against somebody or somebody say that they can beat you or that they can easily beat you, you already know who they gonna go pick. It's either going to be the Thunder or it's going to be the Cavs. I already knew this guy was going to pick the Cavs at the first beginning. I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick the Thunder. But then again, I was like, you know what, I'm not going to do cheese against cheese. I know the Portland playbook. I know the players. I know LaMarcus. Everybody's shot on this team, I pretty much know. So I'm not going to, you know, match cheese for cheese. I'm going to just match cheese with the knowledge of just playing real basketball. And as you can see, this guy has a pretty good record, but... A record don't mean shit whenever you're going to get somebody that actually know the game and playing online, you know. But, uh, you know, this guy, he was leaving me comments saying, you know, about me having 30 losses. That's the reason why I put my record at the beginning of my videos, because I do not care about showing my record. I post losses, and yes, I'm not going to win every game that I play online. You see, I'm going straight to LaMarcus on the first play of the game. And that's what I do, man, to slow the game down. Even on the first play, let them know it's not going to be a run and gun type game. But watch this pick play that this guy's going to do. He's going to run this pick play at the uh, wing every single time down the court, almost every single time. Uh, it's a double pick play. And what's really dangerous about this play, I don't know what, you know, if it's even in the Cavs playbook, y'all let me know. This double pick play, what makes it dangerous is it's not going to be the same two people that's going to set the pick every time. What makes it dangerous is it can be your power forward and your point guard, you know, that come out and set the pick. It can be your, your, your two guards that come out and set the pick. So you really don't know who's going to come up and set the double picks. Therefore, you don't know who's going to come up and try to help, you know, help you defend because the computer just automatically going to come up and help you defend on the pick no matter what. So you're going to see it right here. Just pay attention. You're going to see it's going to be two different people that's going to set the pick every time. And you can see that with J.R. Smith and Mozgov set the pick. I think on the first play, it was two separate people. But, um, you know, he's going to run this play into the ground, man. But... As you know, if you're a good 2K player, all you have to do is adjust to the damn cheese, man. And that's exactly what I'm going to try to do. You see that's LeBron James going on the baseline. It ain't shit that you can do about that. You might as well count it as a two. But uh, I'm going to just leave the video, my last video in the uh, description. that Y'all y'all can go and check out the comments that this guy was leaving. He was saying that he can easily beat me and everything and shit like that. Just talking major shit on my video. You know, I don't know why people come and they just feel like they can just, you know, just leave you and just talk sideways about you and think that they, they, they just better than you and they come out and they pick the cheesiest team to play against you with. That's what tripped me out. But here I already know this double pick play is coming. Here it is right here. This time I think that's Tristan Thompson and uh, Kyrie Irving setting the pick. So like I said, it's two separate people every time. So that's what makes this, this play so hard to actually defend because you really don't know who's coming out to set the uh, pick. But as you can see, I'm still running my office, man. I'm not rushing at all. You see, I have my bench out there. Everybody's going to eat on my team. It's not just going to be one player. You see this Le LeBron. I got Freeland on him. But, I mean, that's LeBron, man. This really ain't shit that you can do about that. I have Freeland on him. And this guy, he's going to try every single thing in the book. He's going to put LeBron at the one. He's going to play off-ball defense. He's going to double-team me at the top of the key to try to force turnovers. Right here, I'm dancing behind the pick. And I already see he's playing. You know, he's playing me off, but, uh, you know, I, I'm going to figure that out sooner or later, you know. I'm going to figure out your defense sooner or later. This is LeBron going to the basket. He's trying to go to the basket, but I'm playing him good on ball D right here. I have Freeland on him. I'm trying to do the best that I can, but Chris came and come out and try to help me out, so that gives up an offensive rebound. So he's going to try to come over here and call that same double pick play that he's been cheesing in the game so far. And uh, I'm going to defend it very well, but they still going to bail him out with a damn freeze. I mean, that's a foul call. I'm like, come on, 2K. Stop rewarding the bullshit. And you know right here, uh, we calling the, um, this supposed to be a play, but I'm calling my own pick, and I'm going to let CJ McCullum go down there and do his business, man. Because if you're going to call picks, and you're going to do that shit all damn day, damn it, I can do it right along with you. So, I mean, it's these types of games that you really want to win, like, very badly. And you want to blow niggas out by, like, 20 because they think they so good. But when you do play them, you find out the way that they do play. 
He was like, dude, you're not even good in the first place. Look at this good deed and I'm playing. He's still calling that double pick play, and he's going to get that basket to go going to the basket with Kyrie Irving. I mean, how do you consider yourself good if you run the same damn play every time up the court? People that run the fucking 63 fists every time down the court, they actually think they good because they scoring points. No, you don't even have, you can't even mix up your offense. That's the thing about these players online, man. Look, he's same pick play, two separate people. That's Kyrie Irving getting that shot to go. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I, I'm going to just fight through it. I was keeping my cool the whole time. We down by two. I said, I'm going to try my best, you know, to defend on that play the best way that I can. You see, I'm going straight to Lamar because he's trying to get the damn charge. Nigga, you got to defend. That charge shit is not going to work, and I go in for an easy dunk to tie the game up. That's a good thing that I'm taking out of this. You know, he's calling the same pick play. Look at the same pick play again, Kyrie. And now he's shooting jumpers, but he gets the offensive rebound. And that's another thing that was just killing me. He was killing me on the old boys, man. And this LeBron James. I'm playing them, though. I'm not giving them any space. I'm still going to play on ball D no matter how, you know, dumb that this guy played. But I'm stopping him every time. Look at this good defense. But you already know 2K going to bail him out at some point. I'm stopping LeBron. He, he, don't has, he don't have anywhere to go but a foul call bails this guy out. He didn't know what to do. And, I mean, that's exactly what these guys do. They just run back and forth. Zigzag. Try to get wide open shots. You see right here I have Brooke Lopez, uh, Robin Lopez out here on LeBron James. And, I mean, he's calling for the pick, but I'm stopping him in his tracks. But he gets the offensive rebound again. And all people fucking Mozgov knocked down a three. Y'all let me. And then he go pause troll. This motherfucker pause troll me, y'all. Y'all already know I hate niggas that pause troll. Can you please tell me? I may be wrong, but can Mozgov knock down threes? I didn't know Mozgov would knock down threes. Like I said, maybe I'm wrong. But I wasn't expecting for that shit to happen. And I was so pissed off at that point. And I mean, I already know what this guy's doing. He's calling for the same double pick play. Here it is. Um, He's waiting for it. Mozgov is coming. And J.R. Smith, two different people coming to set this play. But he gets the offensive rebound again. Gets a pullback with LeBron. But we stopped that pullback. He fouls me. And uh, we still, you know, now we're up by two, man. So I'm still in this game. He's not leaving me at all. But you see this LeBron James going back and forth. Calling for the pick. But I'm still standing in front of him. He has nowhere to go. I'm playing very good on ball D against this bitch ass nigga. Look at he's trying to do everything that he can. Zigzagging with LeBron. Just trying to get something in there. And finally 2K gives him the lane and let him go in for the dunk. To tie the game up at 40. I'm like, dude, 2K is really looking out for you right now. Because really, this guy is supposed to be losing by at least 10. And look at this ball movement I'm doing. You're not just seeing LaMarcus and uh, Lillard score. You're seeing everybody on my bench score. All my teammates are out here scoring with me, man. So it's not just one person eating. And you see right here, I'm taking my time. I'm going to the basket with C.J. McCollum. But Chris Caveman gets that offensive rebound and get the pullback. And he's still pause trolling me. We up by four in the fourth. I'm trying my best to hold this lead. But I already know 2K is going to have some fuckery to go on to make this game interesting. And right here, he's still calling for the pick. He shoots the ball. He's going to miss. He's going to get the offensive rebound, of course. Get it back out to J.R. Smith. And I'm not going to play good D right here. I was trying to play off the pick, but he's going to get some separation, zigzagging back and forth. And J.R. Smith gets that three to go. So now we, uh, we're down by three at this point right here. He's calling for that double team at the top of the key to try to force me to lose it. And I get this pass out the platoon and he knocks down that shot. So I'm still taking my time and seeing whatever you're doing, I'm, I'm, I'm going to counter it some type of way. I'm trying my best to. And right here, I'm driving to the basket, but Lillard gets that offensive rebound and gets that pullback for me. That puts us up by one with a minute left in the game. We only have 43 seconds left in this game right here. He has a ball with LeBron James on the baseline. Batum, just go ahead and get out the way because there ain't shit you can do with LeBron on the baseline on 2K. And he's still pause trolling me, y'all. Y'all can see I'm down by two right now. It's only 35 seconds left in this game. I got to get a shot and some points to go, man. But right here, we have to take our time. I'm not calling for the play, but Damian Lillard is going to go in for the impossible shot and get that shot to go, man. That was just clutch right there. Right here, we tied up 52 to 52. Now we need a defensive stop. LeBron has the ball. We're going to double team LeBron. We're going to force the turnover right here, and I'm going to call time out. And I said, yes, we played good defense. That's the only time that I play defense is on the last possession of the game. I try to force a turnover. Not in the fucking third quarter when it's three minutes left. And you're trying to force turnovers like this bitch-ass nigga was doing. And right here, I'm telling him, 2K, I just want to pull up a quick jumper. 
just give me the quick jump. I get a wide open jump, but the animation that 2K puts out, as soon as you catch the ball, they just pushes me to the basket. It makes, it makes no sense whatsoever, man. So that takes us to overtime. 2K is, I feel like, is looking out for this guy, just trying to make the game interesting, man. They trying to make the game good. They trying to give this bitch ass nigga a shot. This bum ass nigga. I, I should be killing you by 20 right now. Lamarcus has the ball. Y'all already know who I'm going to in the first possession of the game. I'm going to the post. Slow the game down. Lamarcus in the post. That's all day. Green release. Green light on his head. You know what that means when it's a green light on his head. It's official that we coming through. That we putting a hit out on your fuck ass, man. That's exactly what we do right here. We already know he's on the wing. Here comes that double screen play. You know, two people's coming set up, but we play good defense. But LeBron knocks down that shot. I don't know how the hell he got that shot to go to tie up the game at 54 to 54. And now I have the ball. I know I have to take my time. We do not want to rush anything. I'm trying to see what he's giving me because he's playing off ball. And I get it to LaMarcus because he's playing off ball with LeBron James. So the whole time this guy was playing off ball, that's another thing. How can you consider yourself good and your fuck ass is playing off ball the whole time? These niggas, I swear, they some bums out here, man. LeBron get this pass down into Tristan, which was a good pass by him. Um, that's a that's really a little LeBron play, man. That's what he do in real life. Can't be mad at that. We're still up by two at this point, and I'm taking Lillard to the basket. I'm like, ref, where's my foul? That's not a foul right there, really? They do not give me the foul. He's going to come up and shoot this three with JR, but I'm going to be right in his jersey. But for some reason, he knocks down that shot, man, and that gives him a one-point lead. I was so mad, man. I'm like, patch four, please don't come and interrupt my fucking game right now, man. I do not want to lose against this bum-ass nigga. I give it off to Platoon. Get it out to Lillard. Lillard is wide open, but he misses. I don't see how. He mi he makes a uh, contested shot, but Lillard is wide open in overtime, but he misses. That puts him up by three, and I'm like, shit, man. So now I'm down by three. There's only 40 seconds left in the game. I was going to try to force it, but I have to pull it back, man. And I'm really just trying to look for the play, but I can't. The play won't develop unless I pass it out to Batum. So I'm going to get it out to Batum, and I'm going to say, Lillard, just run the alternate route. You see Lillard's going to run the alternate route. Curl around. You're not behind the three-point line. Get behind the three-point line. Pull it. And Lillard knocks down the three to tie the game up in overtime. 22 seconds left in the game. Let's play good D out here. Do not give him a shot to win this game. I'm not going to get this guy a shot to win this game. And, and right here, I'm just playing him. I'm in front of him. LeBron has the ball. I have Batum out there. You already know we're playing on ball D. I'm not letting this bitch ass nigga. We had a foul to give. I wanted to foul him right there. But let's go ahead and get this steal. We made a defensive stop. We almost get the steal right there. He almost turned it over. He turns the ball over right here. I'm out on the break. Lillard is out wide open at the elbow. Knocks. I'm like, come on, 2K. Seriously? You giving this bum ass nigga way too many chances. I should have been one this game. So now we going to double overtime. And I don't see how this guy is even keeping up with me. LeBron is at the top of the key. But look at this. I'm, I'm going to give him a little bit of space because you're not driving to the rack on me. It's on ball D. LeBron pulls up this dumb ass shot. And it goes over the backboard to out of bounds. And now the game is tied up to 65-65. At this point, I'm like, okay, it's time to take over. We're not going to worry about 2K and get mad at them. Let's just go ahead and win this game the way we know how to win this game. We get it out to Batum. Batum is going to shoot this three. I shouldn't have shot it, but we're going to get that offensive rebound with Robin Lopez. He's going to put it back up for the dunk to put us up by two. And I said, this is where it starts right here. All the fuckery is needs to end because I guarantee you I will be beating this nigga by at least 10 points a long time ago to win this game. Right here, he's calling for the pick play, but I'm in his damn jersey. I already knew it was coming. I get out in his jersey, man. I detest the shot. I defend the shot. We get the stop. Now we're out. I'm taking my time. I'm going to pull this through because I just want to put the nail in the coffin. But we get the offensive rebound with Batum. Batum is going to lose it for a second, but Lamarck is going to get it. I'm like, Lamarck, put it up. Green light on his head. You know it's official. Yeah, Paul's troll. Bitch, that's what you do, nigga. That cause we out here, we playing real basketball. None of that damn double screen shit that you was pulling early to get your shots off. And right here, we playing good on ball D. I already know LeBron has the ball, but I'm out here. I'm sticking on him. Oh, in his jersey. It ain't shit you could do with me when I got my mindset that I want to go ahead and win this game. Now, yeah, keep Paul trolls an old bum ass nigga. That's all you can do because you ain't good at all. The game makes you look good, patch four makes you look good, but as far as your skill, nigga, you ain't good at all out here in this fucking game, man. You ain't fucking with me, my nigga. I'm serious. Right here, I had a ball, but I have, I'm have i pulling back because I say I have a four-point lead. No need to rush it. 
but I'm not putting a shot up with nobody else but Lillard. I'm in the paint. Kyrie, all you can do is foul me. And one, we go up by six with Lillard at the line. And now we're going to go up by seven because we're going to have a green release on the free throw. It ain't shit you can do with me, man. That should have happened a long time ago. That let you know this guy was pulling up bad shots. You're going to see the stats at the end. We really put a lock on LeBron, but, I mean, I can't make the game just all extra long, man. I can't show you everything. You see right here, he just pulling up bad shots. And you see, I, I didn't really shoot that many threes in this game. You're going to see the stats at the end, man. We put a lock on LeBron. You know, I think he shot 7 for 22. I think that's pretty good for it to be 2K. And right now, I'm just leaving with the game. I mean, it's nothing. And now, I'm doing my own Paul Stroll, telling this bum-ass nigga, you need to just quit because there ain't no way you can fucking beat me. And I had to just settle down, man. I really wanted to win this game so bad and the shit that was going on in this game. And there was a lot that was going on that was really pissing me off. But as soon as I settled down, man, you see I'm up by 10, man. I just had to settle down. That's all it was, man. And that... Double screen shit that he was pulling earlier. It just wasn't working anymore. And right here, that's just the end of the game, man. And, uh, yeah, we end up winning this game by 11. I mean, it should have been close in the first damn place. But you're going to check out the stats, man. We put a lock on LeBron, and you're going to see us. I think we shot like 62% for this game. And that's because we were just pulling up good shots. We wasn't just forcing up threes. I was going to the paint. I was getting in the post with uh, LaMarcus. That's the two guys that I was really using. As you can see, 27 with Kyrie. I was letting him score, but I wasn't going to let LeBron just come out and just kill us. Both of them couldn't kill us because if that happened, then we wouldn't be able to win this game. He was 7-22. I felt like we did pretty good on LeBron. And now we're going to go to my stats. As you can see, we didn't force up anything. 11 of 19. I feel like that's pretty good with uh, with uh. Lillard and LaMarcus, I think he was like 7 to 10 or something like that. But as you can see, we shot 64%, only six three-pointers uh, attempted in this game, man. So, I mean, we just come out, good basketball prevailed. None of that dumb ex exploit shit that happened. I, I didn't win a game like that. I won it off of Sim Basketball. So, it's your boy, Shaw. I'm signing out. Y'all have a good one to the bum-ass niggas that played me. Fuck you, niggas.